So you guys remember that we were talking about building robots for competitions? Yes. Well this robot was actually built about two years ago now for a competition where we had to launch this ball really high into a goal. Three, two, one! I think it's such a special experience to be talking to these kids at such a young age, just inspiring them to pursue a STEM career while they're at such a prime age in developing and then choosing where they want to go in life. I know that I was inspired to pursue robotics in elementary school, and so to have the opportunity to inspire others and inspire other kids at such a young age is really special, especially seeing the delight on their faces when we're shooting the robot off and shooting the ball and everyone's engaged. It's such a special connection. We are here for our third annual STEM day. We've been doing this for two and a half years now and we are excited and want to show you how our students engage in STEM activities at our school. In an effort to become a county and state STEM certified school, we have been participating in STEM activities for three years. Today is one of those days. We are part of the consumers because we have to eat to get our energy. And depending on what our ecosystem is, depends on that. So we have a food chain. Have you heard of a food chain before? Yeah. Yes. What's a food chain? Talked about uh, ecosystems and adaptations with fourth graders. Uh, we saw a live snake. We looked at some earthworms and some other decomposers. Uh, learned about adaptations of different animals. They did a great job. We had fun and uh, I look forward to coming back someday, I hope. Catching the snake was cool. <coughs> um, and it felt really slimy, like a little. I like Sunday because um, we build cool stuff, like we're gonna build a um, thing to go up to land safely. Like we're, it's about space. STEM day is amazing. You get to build a lot of things, and when you finish building it, you're just like so happy that you actually built something in my second grade class is building a model of the moon and the sun. It's fantastic STEM day. I love it. The kids are engaged. They're able to take ownership of their learning and build things to where the concepts that we're teaching, the standards that we're teaching uh, actually make sense to them. They can touch them, they can feel them, they can move them around. Um, STEM days are my favorite part of the year. It's where we get to do the actual super fun stuff with teaching. Really part of the credit union's mission is to come out and help our communities, uh, especially such a great cause like this with, uh, with STEM. Uh, that's a huge initiative that we want to help with. We think it's very important. Uh, and then being able to come out uh, Mr. Lake's second grade class today and, and help with their, their project is, is just awesome. We're, we're so glad we could be a part of it. Students will be engaged in all day STEM lessons. Some of those include squishy circuits, cup. studying shadow plays, math shapes, and a moon Energy in a box. Come from the sun. We also have visitors from Cobb Watershed Works, a Dobbins Air Force sergeant, and the Wheeler Robotics team. All right guys, so for STEM day this quarter, you have been learning about electricity, conductors, insulators. Your goal is to light a couple tiny light bulbs, like you've seen before, using this battery pack and having it go through um, an insulator and a conductor. Show me the measurements that you need. What, how do I make one half? A teaspoon. Okay. Teaspoon, tablespoon. Go back and check with your group. It should be my table. My kids love STEM Day. They look forward to it. Some of them do better with it than others. We are building shadow puppets to do a shadow puppet play. They have readers theater scripts that they've selected on books that they've read in class. They've picked their parts. They've picked which character they want to be. They're going to make their puppets. And then once they've made their puppets, they're practicing in front of a screen and they're going to read those theater scripts for our shadow puppet play later this afternoon. I'm an avionics technician. Does anybody know what that is? Yes. My specialty is actually the electronics, aviation electronics, so they shorten it to avionics. You have gravity, which is the weight of the aircraft pulling it down. We're all familiar with that one, I'm sure. You have lift, which is the opposite of that. That's what we want. We want it to go up, right? You have thrust, which is pushing it forward, and that's coming from the engines. And we have drag, which goes the opposite way of the engines. It's all the air pressure pushing back on it. It was a wonderful experience being able to come here and uh, present uh, my, uh, my job to the fifth graders here at Brumby Elementary. 
Uh, I'd, I'd absolutely love to do it again, and I feel like the children got a lot out of it, and I got a lot out of it myself. I really enjoyed the guy, the, um, the Air Force man, talking about the C-130s and the planes and the different type of features on it. Um, I was really impressed with um, the C-130 um, engines, um, how they, how he told me how um, the engines work and the turbine on the um, propeller. I asked him how he had restocked the fireworks. Um, he said very, very carefully. We feel passionately that STEM education can give our students an advantage when they are making education and career choices for their futures. This is Sandra Lake reporting for Cobb Ed TV at Brumby Elementary.